Capricorn, thank you for joining the Spirit Fund. Let's take a look at your person's energies for the month of December. This is how they feel about you. Before I begin, guys, I'm running a special on my personal readings. They're $10 for the month of December. All of that information will be in the description below. Capricorn, let's get started. So it is general, Capricorn, please remember, but I am trying to tap more into your person's energies. However, you might find that this is more how you're feeling, but... When I was tuning into this reading, I did ask for Capricorn's person's feelings, but it is also very general, so use your intuition, okay? Capricorn, I can see that your person's feeling quite stuck at the moment. There seems to be a lot of waiting, um, just a very stagnant, stuck, patient energy within your person. They might be feeling like they need to take a break from this relationship or relationships in general. But there's something within them that makes me feel like they're just not ready to take um, the next step. Whether that's taking this relationship to the next level or committing or asking you out on that date. Or even if it's just opening up emotionally, um, this person might not be fully ready to do that for you or do that for the relationship. Your person's feeling quite... Um, I'm feeling a little bit of fear there's a lot of fear in this full card they just don't have the courage right now to, to take that step forward the full upright is someone who is ready to go forward on a new journey courageously without any hesitations without any preconceived notions they just go forward into something sometimes a little foolishly and a little you know misguidedly but they do it from a pure space and they go forward trusting that the universe will take them where they need to be this card coming out in reverse indicates that your person is struggling to trust the process in fact they're just blocking the process at this point they they just don't feel confident in themselves to carry this journey through or they just don't feel confident in relationships or this person this specific relationship I just picked up on a second storyline here. Possibly this full card indicates that your person is feeling foolish. And with this two of swords coming out, it actually might mean that your person might have made the wrong decision. So the story might be that you were waiting for someone to step up and take things to the next level so you guys can continue on your fool's journey. But I don't think that this person chose you or chose commitment or chose to continue um, in this relationship and I think that there's a lot of regret um, losing you or possibly making you doubt their intentions for you but I do feel that they think that they might have made the wrong decision and they're feeling quite foolish for it but your person like I said there's something that's making me feel like they are trapped they are trapped in either their circumstance or they are trapped in either their mind and their thoughts, trapped in past pains or past cycles and circumstances. But your person right now just doesn't seem to see a way forward, whether it's in this relationship or just in general when it comes to relationships. Your person is stuck. Their thought processes are stuck. Their energies seem to be stuck. And I think that is something that they know and they're choosing this time to pull back and work on those energies. Your person's waiting. There's a lot of waiting, a lot of stagnancy, a lot of inaction. But I think this inaction is external. Internally, your person has made the decision to try and clear these energies themselves for themselves. To clear their mind a little bit. Get a little bit more clarity about why they might have had these fears in the first place because your person is feeling foolish i don't know what your person did possibly they chose a different journey with another person maybe they chose someone else or they just chose to not take the journey with you not go all the way with you maybe they were like i said with this two of swords they were holding back restricting you from getting to their heart blocking this relationship from escalating to the next level 
but i think you got tired of that and that's why right now they're feeling this five of pentacles which was at the bottom of the deck even if this person walked away from you even if this person was the one that initiated the breakup i feel like they're feeling very regretful and they feel like you've left them out in the cold even though they asked to be left out in the cold it's this weird dynamic where there's a lot of regret they're regretting their decision to not take this fool's journey with you to not trust in the universe trust the process trust you even i think you turned your back on this person and now they're feeling like they made the wrong decision because their decision has left them out in the cold they left out of this relationship they're now no longer in your life and it's something that i feel they regret very very strongly but like i said there's a, a lot of stagnancy here whether it's your person choosing to work on themselves to release um, whatever these fears may be or your person is still working from a fear-based energy and just a little scared to step forward but there's definitely stagnancy with this hangman at the bottom of this deck the fool in reverse and that seven of pentacles there's waiting that your person has chose to do so maybe that's a good thing they chose to pull back and heal and figure themselves out work on themselves literally take a time out get some enlightenment about themselves this situation this relationship before they come back to you but they definitely want to come back because they feel like you've left them behind but they still need to like figure out these energies of why they are so stagnant when it comes to taking a leap of faith when it comes to um, romantic relationships or maybe when it just comes to you i'm not too sure i hope that this is helping you get some clarity my friends we're going to clarify even further finish off the reading with the light seers tarot deck try to get one card for each of the cards on the table all right i've already got one judgments Right, so judgment to clarify the fool. So like, yeah, I feel like, like I said, there was a decision to not take things forward, a decision to pull away, to not commit, to invite someone else, some decision that your person made that they are now feeling foolish for. They feel like they made the wrong judgment. That's what this fool card is being clarified by. Their judgment is making them feel foolish. That's amazing. Wow. Let's get a card to clarify the two of swords. One card for the two of swords, please. Okay. Ace of pentacles. There's a new start. There's some new offer. There's some... Maybe that's what it is. It's the fear of stability. It's the fear of the new. It's the fear of something stable coming in that this person is trying to figure out for themselves. They're trying to make better decisions for themselves. But I do feel like they are trapped in some sort of mental block that they've created for themselves. They're telling themselves that they're working on themselves, that this stagnancy is necessary. But I think they're just stalling because they're just afraid. They really seem to be afraid of the idea of taking this leap of faith. This new stable offer that they want to bring towards you is the decision and the block and the direction that they're trying to find right now. Possibly this person, like I said, invited someone else into the relationship. They regret it. They feel foolish. They hate that judgment call. And now they want to come through with an, a new offer, a more stable offer. And now they just don't know which direction to go. How to get you back? How do I apologize? How do I fix this? And that might be what they're working on. So let's get one more card to clarify that seven of pentacles, please. One more card for Capricorn. Just give me one more card, please. Okay. So, <laughs> there's definitely a lot of stagnancy happening with this person. <sighs> Four of Cups to clarify the Seven of Pentacles. Both cards are cards of waiting. 
both cars are cars of disappointment to be honest um regret possibly feeling like you didn't get the results that you wanted that could be what this person is feeling right now they are regretting their decision they're regretting their judgment because their judgment has left them out in the cold from you it's isolated them from you they don't like that but there's still some fear of the new the new cycle that they need to work on release these fears so that they can trust and go forward into this relationship with you right now i think they're still a little stagnant okay so give them some time if you're willing if not keep it moving just note that this person is stuck they're stagnant there's a decision that they need to make to come to or a decision that they regret they do feel like you've turned your back on them they don't like that and that is why i feel like they'll come back just be aware all right thank you so much capricorn please like subscribe share don't forget that ten dollar special on the readings love and light guys bye